In order to explore this question, we will establish some baseline principles. A muqallid can be of two types, a lay person or an alim who is knowledgeable in fiqhi matters, but not to the level of a mujtahid and is therefore a muqallid. There are numerous scholars at the level of ijtihad, that is, they are a mujtahid. However, for the purposes of taqlid, only the most learned ones, also known as a marja, can be followed. Out of those, it is necessary to identify and follow the a'lam or most learned. Apart from being a logical principle, this idea can be found in early Shia Islamic works such as Usul al-Fiqh by Sayyid Murtadha, a prominent jurist and theologian of his time. He was the brother of Sayyid Ravi, who was the compiler of Nahjul Balagha. For most of us, the lay people, the best way to identify the A'lam is to ask the Ahlul Kibra. These are scholars who teach dars e kharij where future mujtahideen are being taught. According to Ayatollah Sistani, if it is not possible to differentiate between two or more marja as to who is A'lam, then you should see who is more awra, that is, more cautious in giving their fatwa. However, if it is still not possible to differentiate between them, then there is a theory known as tab'id, for which a situation has not yet occurred. Tab'id means you can follow multiple marajah of the highest level. According to Ayatollah Sistani, if the Ahlul Khibra say that one marja is more a'lam in section of ibadat, i.e. rituals, and the other in financial matters, then it is ihtiyati wajib to do tab'id and follow multiple marja according to the areas in which they are a'lam. Therefore, if such a situation were to arise, the decision would not be according to our own likes and dislikes to pick and choose fatwas, rather it would be according to guidance of the Ahlul Khibra. It is important to remember that we are all ultimately responsible in the eyes of Allah for our choices and the decision of individuals to follow specific maraja should not be a cause of disunity and arguments. Nevertheless, the act of choosing a marja is a serious one and not to be undermined by personal whims and desires. For more details, please refer to the Risala of Ayatollah Sistani or speak to your local scholar. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept and grant our current marja of taqlid Ayatollah Sistani a long and healthy life.